this is the general method for uh, drawing conics data required to follow this method is eccentricity and the distance between directrix and focus in this problem we assume eccentricity as a 2 by 3 and distance between directrix and focus is 65 mm eccentricity definition is something like this it is the ratio of distance of distance of a point from fixed point to fixed straight line the fixed point is called as a focus fixed straight line is called as directrix now the first step is something like this draw a vertical line and name it as ab from the midpoint of this line draw a perpendicular to ab this ab represents the directrix now the midpoint is c from c you have to mark focus f at a distance of 65 mm now you have to divide this cf into some number of equal parts that number you have to decide based on the eccentricity value here eccentricity is 2 by 3 so add numerator and denominator then you will get 5 so you divide this cf into 5 equal parts something like this now it is divided into 5 equal parts now you have to locate the vertex to locate the vertex if you take the numerator this numerator represents the distance of the vertex from focus if you take the denominator this denominator represents the distance of the vertex from directrix so if you take numerator you have to you have to count for second division if you take denominator you just count third division from c now we'll take the focus that means 1 and 2 at second division i have to mark vertex after marking vertex you draw a perpendicular to cf passing through point p after drawing this perpendicular you take v as center vf as radius draw a semicircle you call these points as e and k now you draw a line joining ce and extend it similarly ck and extend it now after v you take some points you have to take some number of points until you will get a closed curve while drawing ellipse if you are drawing a parabola and hyperbola you can take 3 or 4 points randomly that's enough now i'll mark some points like this One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. I am taking. Now, from each point, from each point, draw a perpendicular to CF, like this. after drawing perpendiculars you call these intersection points as a1 a2 a3 so on a8 now you take one a1 as radius f as center try an arc cutting one a1 line try an arc like this top side one arc bottom side another arc similarly take 2 a2 as radius same fa center draw an arc top one bottom one similarly 3 a3 radius fa center draw an arc in this way repeat the same procedure with other points also now sixth point is somewhere here if you take seventh point that is intersecting on this cf extended line that means that is the other vertex that is the other vertex now try a smooth curve joining all these points now we have drawn the ellipse now at a particular point p i want to draw tangent and normal then how to draw that okay now assume this point this is that point p 
you want to get tangent and normal at this point you have to draw a line joining P to F draw a line like this now after drawing the line PF you draw a perpendicular to this PF line towards the directrix something like this that will intersect the directrix somewhere here now from this intersection point draw a line to P that will represent the tangent perpendicular to that line is the normal this is the general method for drawing conics